like Daniel said, I'm, my name is Sterling Strother, and so I coach out of North Carolina, and I've been coaching about 20 years. And so um, in 2012, I was coaching a high school team, private school, very high level players. And I was watching my two top players play points out because we had a big match the next day. So I wanted them to play points. And I was watching them and I, I saw something that I had never seen before. Yeah, you know when you, you look at something for a long time or you've looked at something repetitively and all of a sudden one day you see something you're like, oh my gosh. And you have this epiphany like, I've never seen that. And it was so enlightening. You're like, you saw it in a completely different way. You saw something that was a truth that was what was really going on. Okay, so I, I, I talk about how you can look at something and not see it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, it would be like looking out into a forest or looking at those trees. And I say, look at those trees. And you go, you look at the trees, right? So look at the trees. Let's do this as an exercise. So like, look at the trees. Now, I want you to see a yellow leaf. So do you see what your eyes did? You started to focus and, and see something that was there already, but just looking, you just kind of bypasses, right? So I start watching them and it goes, they serve, return, and then the next shot is missed. Serve, return, serve one, R1, the first shot after the return, miss, right? And it goes back and forth like that. And every once in a while, I get a five, five hits in a row. But then it was like double fault, serve, return, out. And then I was like, okay, girl, stop. Can you, can y'all just, can you two just rally back and forth very intensely? And let me see what happens. So they just start rallying. And it's like 14 balls in a row, 15 balls in a row, 16. And I go, okay, stop. Go back to playing points. Serve, return, out. Serve, return, next ball, next ball, out. I'm like, this is crazy. So I'm like, points are lasting so short. And when we watch a tennis match, whether we watch it live or on TV, what is, the, what is typically the thing you watch? What do you watch when you watch a tennis match? The ball, right? You're watching the ball go back and forth. You're not really watching a player in isolation, okay? So the reason why is your eyes are fascinated by motion. So when you strike a ball and then you look up, what do typically you look for first? You, you're looking at the ball and where it's going to land or you're trying to predict where the ball's going to land. The problem with that is when you, when you look at a ball that's going away from you, like right when you see that it's here, it's already here. And then it's already here. So as the ball moves away from you, you're actually seeing, the, seeing something that's in the past, not in the present moment. Okay? You follow me? Yeah. But when you look at a ball as it's coming to you, you're seeing it in the present because it's coming into the present moment. Right? So I'm going to do an exercise with you to start off. It's called ball player. And what I would like for you to do is, right when you strike the ball, you, when you look up, say to yourself, player. And then when the player on the other side strikes the ball, you say to yourself, ball. So you go, you go ball, player, ball, player. So after you hit it, you look up, you say player. Okay, let's do that for just a few minutes, and then I want to ask you a few questions of what, what you experienced. So just on the baseline, it's fine. <clears throat> so call it out loud just so you can hear it. Right, yeah, right on the feed. Start it right on the feed. Player, good. <laughs> Let me hear you say that ball. Good. Good. Excellent. Very nice, Grace. Excellent. Look at this rally. Solid. Good tempo. Excellent. 
There you go, Grace. Go. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. Go, go, go. Okay. Freeze. All right. Come to the net. What did... Grace, what did you experience? Um, I mean, I was... <laughs> well, what did you feel like your eyes were doing? I was focused more on, like, the point of the hole. Okay. Was, like, just the ball, I guess. Just the ball, right? You, so, as you called player, what did your eyes immediately do? Go to the, Go to the player, mm -hmm. right? What about you? When you saw, when you called ball, what did you feel like your eyes did? Zoom in, right? Focus, right? So I call this, you know, what it do, what this ball player challenge does is it shifts your eyes at the appropriate moment so that your eyes are always in the present moment. Okay? So when you say player and your eyes go to the player, you're able to recognize what? Yeah, Noah, you're, you're seeing Grace, how she's either stretching or she's setting up the balls in her strike zone, right? So you can almost, you can start to anticipate, Grace, what Noah, the type of shot Noah is going to strike back, okay? And so this is really important because if you just watch the ball the whole time, and especially when it's leaving you, you're going to be a half a step or maybe even a full step late to the next shot. And so a lot of times, in fact, most of the time in my, what I have experienced is that when you miss a shot, it's not always the, the swing path, okay, that is the issue, okay, that can be an issue, but it's really the movement to the ball and receiving the ball.